what I found extremely valuable in my research career was going to work in different countries, actually going to work, right? Either a, a short collaboration or a longer training period or teaching, teaching foreigners because this gives you a different perspective and very often it's really, really helpful. You'd be surprised, you know, if you look at the same scene from the same angle always, it looks the same. And sometimes it's really important to get up and walk around and see from a different, different perspective. So if you possibly can, take a, grab the chance. Now, uh, I'm, I'm quite good at grabbing chances. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the, the, my big chance of going to America and going to a really nice place, which I, I enjoyed, came about because uh, I went to a conference which I had not registered for, but I just turned up at this conference mm. in northern Greece. Now, I didn't really realize that you had to register, but, and, and the result of not really registering was that I was not allowed to go to the conference special lunch, mm -hmm. okay? <laughs> so because I didn't go to the conference special lunch, I had to go to find my own lunch in a nearby tavern. So I had a very nice lunch, and I had quite a lot of Greek wine to drink with my lunch, okay? And so I got a little bit tipsy. And it just so happened when I came out from this drunken lunch that I ran into this guy, Irving London, who was going to be my boss in the future. And he said to me, Tim, uh, what are you going to do when you've finished your PhD? So I said to him, to hell with my PhD, couldn't I come and work in your lab this summer? Because I was emboldened by the wine, I would say. <laughs> and he said, oh, what a good idea. <laughs> and then I took a very slow train back to England through Yugoslavia. It went at about 15 miles an hour with chickens and goats and things. It was very primitive. Uh, and by the time I got back to Cambridge, there was a ticket to go and work in New York, you know, waiting for me. So it was great. So that was a good example of uh, completely unplanned. 